Cancer. What's up? What's good, my what a sign, Cancer? Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back for all my returning subscribers. So let's check out this reading for the collective Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what the news is in your love life. Remember, take this reading how it resonates with you. It's interchangeable, so it's vice versa. There is no gender in tarot, okay? This is general. Like I said, take whatever resonates with you. Leave the rest that does not. All right? So let's see what's going on in your love life for April 2024. Sun, moon, rising. Let's check out the news. What's the news? What's the news for cancer? How y'all doing? What's up? It's been a while since I used these cards for y'all. Spirit, give me some messages, some clear, honest messages for cancer. So somebody's pulling out some forgotten memories, some pictures or photos from like their um, photo album or from their phone. Okay, they're thinking about you. Yeah, they're thinking about these memories with you. I feel like your person then got into a karmic situation with somebody that they're not even into. This karmic loves your person, but they don't love them. They don't even like this person. Yeah, I feel like your person is triggered. Some of y'all, this person may have blue eyes. It says in the ring. Here goes another round. Okay, so let's see what that's about. What's the news? Some of y'all, these people could be fighting. Yeah, they're miserable as fuck with this karmic. Whoever they are with, I feel like this person caused them to lose their job or get fired, Cancer. Wow. Yep, this is a crazy bitch full of problems. This person is an alcoholic. They're like Chucky of the Bride. All right, or the Bride of Chucky. Hmm. <laughs> They're crazy. Somebody's lying to him about you. They don't even know you. Whoever this karmic is, they don't know you. But they're trying to convince your person that they do know you. And they're trying to convince your person that they know things about you that this person will listen to, okay? This person ain't beating it. This person ain't beat for that. Yeah, y'all figured it out. I feel like you figured this out and your person did too. Like, they know this person is lying. They know this person is lying. All right. Yeah. They want to get closer to your person, this karmic. Whoever this karmic is. But I feel like this person wants to get closer to you. Yeah, because you are their perfect match. Y'all are a perfect match. But this karmic is attempting to get him. I feel like this karmic is going to go above and beyond and do whatever she got to do to get your person. Your person's over here praying for better days. Mm. They want to resolve an issue with you. Yeah, all seeing eyes. So you see everything. It's like, what don't you see? You're very intuitive. All right. I feel like you get downloads from the most high, from the universe here, from your angels, your ancestors. You seeing what's going on, either through dreams or visions. Yeah, they got unpaid bills, honey. I feel like they don't have any money. All right. Yeah, your person is stressed out because they had enough of this. They are stressed. <clears throat> yeah, your person was thinking that they would be happy with somebody else. They thought this could work out. But they're still stalking you. They're still stalking you. They're still watching you. Yeah, they're venting to somebody about you. This could be a family member, a friend, or they could be in therapy, talking to somebody. But this person is not good for you right now. This person is toxic. This person may have um, shoulder tattoos or tattoos on their chest. Yeah. This person is depressed. And they're keeping it hidden. They're keeping it to themselves. Cancer. Yep, you predicted it. You told this person brick by brick line by line what was going to happen and they didn't believe you for some of you they thought you was hating they thought you was jealous for some of y'all but you shitting on them you stunting on both of them the karmic and your person because you told this person what was going to happen you knew okay you could be a reader or you're just connected to source you're very intuitive 
very in tune with spirit. And this person is trying to hide the pain behind the shades. They don't want nobody to know. They don't even want you to know what's going on with them. I'm telling y'all, they're going through a mental breakdown right now. They're about to lose their shit. They're about to lose it because they're in love with you. <clears throat> they're in love with you. Oh my God, somebody busting out receipts, honey. So this karmic um, saw like this person texting you, sending you emails. <clears throat> That this person is still in love with you. Yeah, it's something like that. Mm. They got some sort of proof here. Whatever just fell on the floor, let it stay. Yeah, your person got hurt by this karmic. And they sleeping on the couch. They're not sleeping in the same bed together, Cancer. They're depressed. They don't even want to sleep next to this karmic. Because they ain't nothing but damn trouble. Okay, this person may have a bad girl tattoo on their arm, their leg, whatever. I feel like this karmic does like voodoo or um, some sort of witchcraft spell work on your person. They use some sort of candles here. But I feel like this person is being haunted because this person was living in an illusion. It was all an illusion. This karmic made your person believe a lie. Yep, I told y'all they, <laughs> they suffering. They don't have any money. Okay, they're broke over there. They can't pay their bills. Mm. More messages for cancer. Yeah, you're doing better without his ass anyway. Or well, this could be a female. Take it how it resonate. Okay. Cancer. Messages for cancer. Summer rising. Tell me more. Give me clear, honest messages, spirit for cancer. Thank you. Yeah, they trying to copy you. They trying to be like you. They want to be you so bad, Cancer. Whoever this karmic is, they're jealous of you. And they want to be like you so your person can feel the way that they feel about you towards them. This is sad. This is sad. Mm -mm -mm. Give me more. Energy warning. Yeah, you don't trust this person. You're being told not to trust this copycat either. They're not your friend. Yeah, they're sending, they're directing energy towards this masculine negative energy. Trying to like bind this person to them or put some sort of spell on them. But they both toxic, both of them. There goes Chucky and the bride. <laughs> they're both toxic. Both of them are low vibrational. <clears throat> I feel like this karmic convinced your person to break up with you because they were bored. Yeah. And I feel like they did it. For some of you, they did it. And they thought they was on cloud nine, high off love, high off life. Yeah, this person's having mood swings, this karmic. Yep. They're happy, then they're sad, then they're mad, then they're happy, then they're sad, then they're mad. It's like their feelings is up and down. This person may have some sort of mental disorder, bipolar, or something like that. They're unstable. Yeah, watch your back. This person is an energy vampire, and they're trying to suck your person's energy dry. Mm, they're jealous of you. This is a literal uh, energy vampire, a witch. Mm, 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 mm. Give me more. Yep, just leave. It's not working out. Your person wants to leave this karmic because it's not working out. It's not. They've been trying to block you out, trying to block out the feelings that they have for you out of their mind, out of their heart space. What's this? Thank you, spirit. Yeah. They was trying to keep this private. They didn't want you to know that they was with this karmic. They was trying to keep your relationship private for some of you. And you felt like you was dealing with a confused man who was wasting your damn time. But I feel like this karmic put some sort of confusion spell on your person. So they wouldn't be sure about you. 
Y'all, look at this. They're obsessed with your person. This karmic, this karmic is obsessed with you too. Because they're jealous of you. They want to be like you. Your person's over here acting fake with this karmic. Acting like they're happy with them. But they're really not. They're wearing a mask with this karmic. Mm-mm-mm. Anymore. Yeah, this person was acting fake with you. Dodging you. <clears throat> you feel like you need to put a bitch in their place, or you did. Yeah, you put somebody in their place, or this, or this masculine needs to. Because I feel like this karmic is going to use children against this masculine to make him stay. If they got kids together, they don't want the masculine to come towards you. They want the masculine to stay there with them. So they're using these kids as manipulation. But you like kiss my... To the haters. Kiss my... Alright. Yeah, you broke up with them or they broke up with you. And I feel like you're putting yourself back together again. Or this karmic ripped your person apart so bad that they're putting themselves back together again. They thought they had a hot love affair or a hot new love affair with this karmic. They thought they was going to be on cloud nine and just be happy doing whatever they wanted to do. And it didn't turn out like that. Mm -mm. This person is sitting in misery with this damn karmic. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. I ain't even shuffled. Love spell. I'm telling y'all, this karmic put some sort of spell on your person. They have been bewitched. To cause them like some sort of challenges. Make it hard for them to make a decision. This person needs to do some inner work. Inner healing. This could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and or an Aquarius here. Any more. Give me more messages. Spirit, guys. Give me some clear, honest messages for cancers. Moving fell on the floor. Mm. And look what's underneath that. They'll be back. <laughs> yeah, you're moving. You're changing your residence. This person is going to come back because they want to move in with you. So I feel like they're going to try to come back before you move. They're going to energetically feel you moving or moving on. Expect to hear from them soon. Because they're coming back. They're going to send you some sort of message or try to call you, try to communicate with you somehow. Yep, there is someone else. That's why you haven't heard from them. This karmic is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Yeah, they're trying to sabotage y'all from coming together. You will be traveling soon. So I'll see you packing up a suitcase, traveling, going somewhere, enjoying your time. It could be like, I heard time share. <clears throat> Messages for cancer. What's this? Yeah, honeymoon. Hmm. You could be attending someone's wedding. Or you could be meeting someone new. You could be getting flown out. Or they could be flying out to you. Where there will be a honeymoon phase. Yeah, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you have pets here, you're giving your current pet more love. Or spirit is telling you to show your current pet more love. Because that's what they're lacking. For some of you, some of you are getting a new pet. Mm hmm. Yep. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come and bite you later. But I feel like you're not doing that. You are listening to your intuition. This karmic is spying. If they have some sort of way to watch you, they got their eye on you. They're trying to do their research on you. Hmm. This karmic may be like bisexual for real. They may like you. Because someone is still trying to figure themselves out. So it could be this karmic that's confused about their sexuality. Or this is your person. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's get some more messages. I haven't used this deck in a long time, y'all. I haven't used this deck in so long for y'all. And look at the gold trimming. Mm 
It's pretty. I love these cards, but I just... They've been in my little box, my little card holder box, but I'm going to have them out more for y'all, okay? Hmm. But I really do love these cards, and they're nice and big, like how I like it. <laughs> oh, my God. I like everything big, big phone, big TV, big cards, you name it. I like it. A big plate of food. I love it. Give me some more messages for Cancer, Sun, Rise, and Venus. Messages for Cancer, Sun, Rise, and Venus. Messages for Cancer. Give me some clear, honest messages for Cancer. Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Give me some clear, honest messages for Cancer, Sun, Rise, and Venus. North Node. I may have to pull one. Last shuffle. Give me some clear, honest messages for Cancer, Summer, Rising, Venus, North Node. Cancer, Summer, Rising, Venus, North Node. All right, I'm going to have to pull one. At the bottom of the deck, somebody's birthday could be in the fall. So September 22nd to November 6th could be significant. Or November 7th to December 21st could be significant. Or this is when you met this person around the fall season. All right, dumb dates could be significant. It says ego driven, acting in one's own self interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others, does not truly love the person but loves more of what the person gives. So, this karmic is ego driven, or this could have been your person who was ego driven. They were more interested in their own self, they thought they were better than others or on a higher ranking than others. Okay, this person may not have uh, fell in love with you, but they love what you gave to them. That's what they loved about you. It says my private ego held me back and stopped me from being my true authentic self. So they was wearing a mask. It says I'm afraid you'll reject me because I fear I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. So this person was putting on a facade. They feel like they're not good enough for you. This person is insecure. Period. It says patience, suffering in silence, but holding out, continuing on with life with struggles, but having hope things will turn out fine, preserving in the face of delay. All right. It says, I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm waiting on the perfect time to return and I am trusting the process. Okay, so they are suffering in silence here, Cancer. But the next card that came out is no, absolutely not. Okay, no, definitely not. No, but maybe later at the bottom. So this is your spirit team saying no. They're keeping this person away from you for now. Because they have self-reflecting to do. They have some growing to do. They're insecure. They feel like they're not good enough for you. They're suffering in silence. They're holding out. Let's see. Could be connected to a Scorpio for some of y'all. Messages for Cancer, Summer Rising. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Give me clear, honest messages for Cancer. These cards keep sliding. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Give me clear, honest messages for Cancer. Summer Rising Venus. Cancer, Summer Rising Venus. I'm just going to pull one. It says small offering. So this offering is not the type of offer that you can expect. <clears throat> it's temporary. So this is not an offer that you want. Okay, this is like the page of Pentacles right here. Okay, it says a short and temporary offering in between feeling awakened and unawakened. So they're confused. They're going back and forth with themselves, but refusing to let go completely. Stuck in a situation they cannot get out of and only can give you something small. That's not what you're looking for. That's not what you want. If this person's going to offer you something small, then you don't want nothing at all. It says, I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you. But I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. So... They're doubting themselves. They're unsure of themselves. They don't have much to offer to you right now. 
because they are stuck in something that they can't get out of. All right. False flame. Mm hmm. So this karmic is a false twin. It says causes you emotional distress and creates conflict. You are unsure of their feelings towards you and you give more than they do. They do not help you grow and feel uncomfortable around them. Yeah, so this is how your person feels about this karmic. This karmic does not help your person grow in any way. This karmic doesn't teach your person about spirituality or uh, growth or how to heal or move forward or even teach them about what their karma could be. Okay, they have no value in your person's life. It says you may think you found the one, but they wouldn't cause you so much stress if they were. Wake up and realize our connection is the real deal. So they're starting to realize that this connection they're in is false. And they're slowly but surely waking up and realizing that y'all connection is the real deal. Okay, it says magical and powerful. So this is your energy, Cancer. It says new beginnings and alignment. Taking action towards destiny. Creator of own reality through powers and manifesting. It says, I used to limit my goals and place myself in a box based on what I was told what I was capable of. Since meeting you, my views have expanded and I am trying to dream big. Because of you, I know I deserve more. Yeah. You know you deserve more in life. You're, you want more. So because of this person, I feel like you're realizing this. You're dreaming big now. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're not putting yourself in a box anymore. You're taking yourself out of this box. You're not stuck anymore. You're moving forward here. Yeah, and what's under that? New beginnings. You're planting seeds here. It says fresh start with an open mind, knowing where you lacked in the past and using that to create success. Allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. Yeah, so you're opening up to this new beginning. It says, we need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. So this person wants to start a brand new beginning with you. They want to plant seeds with you. Okay, they do. But I feel like this dark night of the soul energy that they're going through is holding them back. It's like they need your help, but they're not asking for it. They feel all alone. It says enhanced awareness of destiny an extremely difficult and painful period. Personal and deep development of oneself. So this was necessary for this person to do. If they wanted to have a brand new beginning with you, this dark night of the soul, <clears throat> excuse me, was necessary. It says I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life altering and also extremely painful. At times I fight against the changes but I know it must happen for me to evolve. Yeah, they know this has to happen because if this doesn't happen, they can't evolve in their life. So this dark night of the soul is holding them back. They have to do the work. What's this? Okay, thank you, spirit. Three cards then fell in my lap. Let's see. What I told y'all, help. They need your help, but they're not asking for it. They have a victim mentality. It says, feel stuck and has a negative attitude. Thinks life is against them and has difficulty coping. Believes they have no control over things that happen to them and blames others. So they blame other people for the decisions that they made. They blame other people for the way their life turned out. They play the victim. They feel stuck and they have a negative attitude. Yeah. They have difficulty coping. They want your help, but they're not asking for it. It says, I just can't. I'm feeling hopeless and helpless. There is nothing that I can do. Life is what it is. And we just have to accept our circumstances. Okay. So spirit is not allowing them to reach out to you and ask you for help, even though they want it, even though they're really begging for help. They really want you to help them out of this situation. But I feel like they have to go through this change and this process to evolve and get themselves out of it. All right. Because they got... A check they wrote a check that they asked can't cash and so now they have to go through this dark night of the soul and it's really painful for this person it says spiritual practices so this is your energy it says becoming aware to intuition and guides meditating and releasing self-limiting beliefs working on inner healing and issues with codependency 
It says, I'm healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It is the only way I can make myself whole. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that's your energy. It says cycles, dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic, same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn necessary lessons, predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together again. So this is like a cycle that y'all been going through. Breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. Or this is with them in the karmic. They keep going back to this karmic. Right now, they're dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic. They keep repeating the same thing over and over, but they're not learning lessons from it. It's very repetitive. It says, we keep replaying the same story over and over again. And it never ends well. When... Are we going to do better so we can be better? It's like it's the same song. You see how these people are dancing to the same record? It's like it's a never ending story. It says why. Yeah, they're in regret. They're crying. It says afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened. Sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. So you could be moving on with somebody new here. And they're sad. They're crying. They're unhappy. <clears throat> it says, I think I made a mistake. I should have never let you go. I should have stayed and fought for our connection, but I was weak and fearful. Now I'm here mourning over the loss of you. Wow. So they took too long, you guys. They took too long. Tell me why. Spirit... Give me some more messages for cancer. Tell me why this person took so long to come towards cancer. Give me some clear, honest messages for cancer. Someone rising for cancer. Give me some messages for cancer. Give me some clear, honest messages for cancer. All right. So three cards fell in my lap. So something significant about the number three. Oh, you've been seeing three, three, three. You may live on the third floor or your life path number could be three. You could be dealing with the Sagittarian. Or well, you have Sagittarius in your chart. <clears throat> it says, I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. Okay. What's this? Masquerading. Yeah. It says, attempts to conceal their feelings and authentic intentions. Feels powerless and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. So they feel like wearing this mask and lying to gain greater control over the environment works for them. And it may have worked for them. But they're hiding their true intentions, their true authentic selves, and their feelings. And do you see how they're looking at their watch? It's like they're like, oh my god, I'm running out of time. They took the mask off for a second. It says... I'm wearing a mask by appearing happy and scenery in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. So I feel like they've been masquerading. They don't even feel good in their own skin. They've been putting on the mask and hiding their true intentions and not being their authentic selves. But they feel like they can be whenever they're with you. Mm. It says inner turmoil. This person is going through it, y'all. It says doubting and questioning decisions. Fight between the mind and the heart. Feeling worried, conflicted, agitated, and unhappy with life choices. So they're going back and forth in their mind. They're overthinking. They're conflicted. They're worried. They're agitated. They could be catching an attitude with people, arguing with people. It says, I am bounded physically, mentally, and spiritually. I feel there is no way out from where I am. I feel in prison because of my own doing. I'm trying to fight my inner demons, but it's just so difficult at times. So yeah, they feel like this feeling is overpowering them. They're so used to doing these things. It's like they can't fight their inner demons. It's like their inner demons is taking control over their mind. But they're ready to surrender. It says not resisting but going with the flow. May feel mentally and physically relaxed. Letting go of judgment and being mindful of the present. Mm. It says 
I'm ready to surrender myself to our connection. I will no longer run away from it and I will no longer deny it. I am trusting in the universe and our love for one another. So they know they have to do this. They know they have to surrender. What's the outcome? So that's good. But it may be too late, y'all. By the time they get ready to surrender to this connection, it may be too late. Let's see. Let's get one more. Oh, two cards fell in my lap. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. Uh, it says why third party situation. Somebody's crying over here. I feel like both of you've been crying over this situation. It says main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing self worth. So I feel like this is how you felt in the past. It's like you was crying because this person was pretending to be happy with another person, but they really weren't. They was putting on a mask. They was wearing a facade. They was faking it with this other person. And it made you second guess your self-worth. It says, I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. Yeah, that's what they did. I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. Yeah, that's what they did. They treated you as an option. They didn't take you seriously in this connection. And they went and got with a third party. And now their life is in shambles because they chose a karmic over you. But they're regretting the pain they have caused you. And they know that they were selfish. They know that they were selfish. And they was lusting over this karmic because they was only thinking about their physical needs. Okay, like sex. Yeah, look what came out. Material matters. This karmic may have had money or told them like, yo, I could give you this. I could do this for you. I could do that for you. But even though they're with this karmic, look, look, they're watching you. They're watching the hell out of you. Okay, Cancer. It says creates fake accounts to stay up to date. Pretends to not care, but becomes obsessive. Late night scrolling on social media platforms. So this person stays up late at night. Create fake accounts. If you accepted any friend requests on social media from like accounts that don't look right to you or accounts that look fake or without a profile picture or may have like one picture. You know those fake accounts that have like one picture up there and it was just created. It is this person, no doubt. But they're pretending they don't care but that's not the truth. They're obsessed with you. And that's why they scroll at night. Because this karmic could be sleeping while they're doing this. Like I said, they're sleeping on the couch. They're not even sleeping in this the bed with this karmic. So it's like, whenever they get a chance, whenever they're not around this karmic, they scroll and stay up late at night as much as they can <laughs> to keep up to date with what you're doing. They're watching you very carefully. Okay, it says mentally materialistic, more concerned with what other people think of them and their status in life. Obsessively focus on money while cares deeply about owning luxury goods. So this is the karmic, y'all. This could be how your person is too. It says I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore, I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth so they feel like because they're not good enough for you they don't have no money like we saw in the first spread they're having financial issues so they feel like they can't give you what you deserve which money will not make you happy for some for some people it will but they forgot to give you the love that you deserve they forgot to give you the intimacy and the genuine love that you desire because they're chasing money they want their um network to match their self-worth it's like if they feel like if they don't have no money they're a piece of shit they're nothing which is not true and most men most masculines think like that like i said this could be a feminine it says i also feel i'm not equipped to handle our connection and i rather focus on what i can control okay <clears throat> yeah they're unawakened like i said they're slowly but surely awakening to this connection it says fear of losing their old life 
feels something is missing but is in denial, physically blocking and ignoring the connection. But I feel like with them going through this dark night of the soul, they are going to be pushed into surrendering and not being denial of this connection. They're going to have to like open up and see things from a different perspective, not run from it and accept the connection because this connection is the real deal. But the karmic connection that they was in had them unawakened to the connection that they had with you. And their old ways of doing things had them unawakened as well. So they are slowly but surely evolving. It says, I'm fearful of letting go of what I have and had in my life and what I've known. What you're asking of me is impossible and makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, this is like a new thing for this person. This is new to them. They've never done this before for anybody. They feel as though you're asking them for too much, which you're not. Okay, but the universe is sending this person angel numbers and symbols. It says positive movement forward, divinely guided towards union, multiple messages through different forms. It says, I'm receiving many messages about you through numbers, symbols, and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you and your way back to me. Yeah. But when they look in the mirror, they don't like what they see. They don't. It says, great source of reflection and growth, willingness to understand and genuinely connect. They show you their deepest fears, insecurities, and shadows through action. It says... If you are feeling under Duris or feeling Solomon, I feel it too. When you are thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. Somebody could be doing mirror magic on them or on you. They're trying to numb out by like popping pills, but this is all an illusion. Yeah, they're realizing that you're their earth angel. You're impossible to avoid. And they're triggered because they're facing inner and outer turmoil. But they're putting their self back together. And I feel like they do feel fulfilled when they're with you. But it's like they have to do this work first. <laughs> <clears throat> they have to do the work they have no choice spirit is guiding them to do this work because if they don't they'll continue to be unawakened let's see what has happened here between you and this person cancer messages for cancer okay yeah this situation changed you or this person changed up on you and they yeah they have a fear now they're in fear because you changed. It says afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. Yep. They know they have to surrender and they fear doing this. I'm telling y'all, they have to let something go, release, give up something and be patient. They know they have to. I'm telling y'all, they got financial issues. This person could be working or like focus on material things and success. But I feel like this person has anxiety it says depression, stress, panic attacks. They they having sleepless nights. They can't sleep. Yeah. They energetically feel that you're attracted to someone else. That you're receiving like butterflies. Or that you have another suitor. Because y'all was in a toxic relationship. Where there was fighting codependent energy. Misunderstandings, triggers. And I feel like they ghosted you. They disappeared when silent ignored you or rejected you in the past. Or you ghosted them because this relationship was just too toxic for you. It was just too much. Yeah. Let's see. What is this romantic feelings about? So they develop like romantic feelings for this karmic. They had a one night stand, a fling, but I feel like they're not taking this karmic seriously. It's just sex. This could be you. You may have romantic feelings for somebody you hooked up with, a new love. It may start off as a casual relationship 
and then turn into a brand new beginning where you're moving on with this person for some of you. But I do see new love coming in your energy. All right. Because like I said, your person ghosted you, had a romantic affair, had um, developed feelings for somebody. And they're afraid because they do feel you energetically moving on to a new person. Yeah, soulmate is in your energy. So this could be your true twin coming towards you. Yeah, this was a fated meeting. So this was destined to happen. I feel like the angels are bringing you together with your new soulmate or a new soul contract. This was destiny. This was meant to happen. And your person is heartbroken. I feel like they want to reach out to you with a text message, phone call. Yeah, they're going through karma. They're going through karma. I feel like if they lived with this karmic and was married to them, they're getting a divorce. For some of you. For others of you, you could have been staying in the house a lot. You could have took this person to court and divorced them. Or they have to go to court for something. There's some judgment they're receiving. Justice will be served in your favor. The balance skills will um, be restored in you guys' energy. I feel like y'all getting married in the near future. And I don't feel like it's to this past person. I don't feel like it's to this past person. I feel like you're getting married to somebody that you're fated to meet. I feel like you cross, cross paths with this new love for a reason. Because your angels and your ancestors was tired of you going through this, tired of you feeling hurt, tired of you feeling broken, tired of you questioning your own self-worth, tired of you um, just feeling miserable or in toxic relationships with people. Tired of you being with people who fear change. Because there's change here that this person is fearing to go through. They know they have to surrender. But they are really, really scared because they've never done this before. Let's get some tarot and then we're going to close this reading out. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. What's this that fell in my lap? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This all wanted to come out in the reverse. But for some reason, it's upright. So, yeah, this person is fully invested. With the Seven of Pentacles. They don't want to give this up. They're thinking, they're planning, they're plotting to like take accountability, balance out the justice skills between the two of you. You know what I'm saying? They want to do things right by you. This could be a Libra or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Seven of Pentacles. The justice is here. Um, they want to do things right. They want to be a better person. But I feel like they may have some legal issues going on here that may involve their finances. Some of y'all may have land in y'all name and you could be going to court like um, taking your land back. For some of you, not all of you. This could be a divorce or a lawsuit, but I feel like they want to do things by the book. But they're at a crossroads. They don't know what to do. I feel like they did choose a path. They're planning something here. But I feel like this person is going to have to be honest with themselves and speak their truth. Yeah, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Oh, King of Cups, King of Swords. This person here could be like bisexual. So they like the same sex. With the King of Swords, King of Cups. They're coming out of hermit mode. They're coming out of hiding. Yeah. I feel like they want this passionate brand new beginning with you. Or you're putting yourself back out there. You're coming out of hermit mode. You're getting out more. And I feel like you could be encountering a brand new passionate beginning with someone else. Death in reverse. They don't want this to be over. They don't feel like it is over. But again, they were resisting change. And I feel like they, yeah, they need to heal. Your angels are here protecting you. You're an earth angel. I see tranquility, balance, patience, um... Um, that's confirmation. That is confirmation. Patience. Spirit is telling you to be patient. But I feel like your emotions is being balanced out. Yeah. 
Something's going to happen in the summer months. <clears throat> but there's a Sagittarius here that wants to reconcile with you. But Spirit is asking you to be patient. Yeah, you're holding back with the Strength card. You may have in, uh, Leo highly aspected in your energy. Or this is a Leo that you're dealing with. Yeah. You're holding back. Yep, and I feel like the silence is going to be broken. Four swords in the reverse. So this person is going to break the silence and speak their truth to you. Yeah. Oh, the higher font in the reverse. This is not ordained by the most high, y'all. This person has some sort of phobia, like commitment phobia. Or they try to bend the rules when it comes to like tradition, marriage, home, family. This person may not be religious or this person, um, I feel like if they are legally married, y'all, they don't own up to their vows with this higher font in the reverse, but they're still hopeful with the star it could be an Aquarius here. They still have hope that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out. But they see that you guys are extremely guarded because of what they did to you in the past. You're a wounded warrior here. Yeah, the moon. They're in their feelings about you. I feel like you're following your intuition. This is your energy cancer. I feel like um, you've been having dreams about a situation here. You're highly intuitive. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> this person is going to change their perspective about you. That's what you don't see coming with the moon. But it's like they kept a secret from you in the past. Three of Wands in the reverse. They went back to somebody. Yeah, they went back to someone. Someone that they still connected to. Someone that they still love. Yeah. They went back to somebody. And I feel like they became distant from you. And that's why you closed out a cycle with this person. Yeah. There was not enough equal give and take. It could be a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be an Aquarius here. Gemini, Libra. You got all the signs here. Five of Swords fell and the Knight of Swords fell out in the reverse. I feel like they want to make amends with you. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fuzz. They don't want to fight. They want to come to some sort of terms with you. They don't want to play head games, mind games with you. They want to make peace with you. Yeah, they want to make amends. But you feel like y'all not good for each other. You may even feel like y'all rushed into this connection. Yeah, because this person had you in some sort of third party situation. And when they had you in this third party situation, they weren't taking action towards you. They broke your heart. They caused a separation. You were hurt. I feel like you could still be hurt behind what they did to you. You know, whatever they did to you, you're still hurt behind this. But I feel like with the chariot, that's y'all energy. You're going to move forward here and overcome these obstacles here. All right. Yeah, this person's going to fight for you with the five of wands. I feel like there's some drama wherever they are, wherever they travel to. There's some sort of drama. There's a third party situation and I feel like they move towards it. And there's just a lot of arguing, fussing, and fighting over there. This person tried to put you in some sort of competition. All right. Yeah, the sun. Something's going to be revealed to you. This could be happening in the summer months, or I feel like you're going to be happy in the summer. You may have met this person in the summer. This person could be a Leo. This person's going to want to fight for this connection because you make them happy. But there's just a lot of drama over there. In Karmicville, yeah. They know who you are. The Queen of Pentacles. So... You are somebody that could take care of your own self with or without somebody. It's like you don't need somebody to take care of you. You're, you're dependent. 
It's like you're independent. You have your own money. You're focused on money right now. And I feel like you're going to be happy because there's some sort of money coming in for you. Could be around the summer months. You could be checking your bank account to see how much you have. And you may have some money in there. Or you have a secret account that you've been saving money in. Or it's going to be revealed to you that they went towards somebody else and they thought they was going to be happy because of some sort of money here. But they know you're loyal and they want you to nurture this connection like you used to. Yeah, they want a second chance. But they're under judgment. The Most High is calling judgment on this person because of how they treated you. Yeah, they're in the blues about you. They're sad. They're depressed. They're regretful, remorseful. They wish they could have treated you better. Yeah, there's some unexpected changes happening in this person's life. Yup, you had to take your cup of love back and emotionally detach from this person. You've been clinging on to this, giving this person a lot of love, nurture, caring, giving energy, and you took that back. I feel like they're crying because they're dealing with somebody that's the total opposite of you. This person is not caring, giving, empathetic, loving, nurturing, nothing. They're clingy. They're rude. They spread rumors and gossip. They cry a lot. They have mood swings. Yeah. Could be a Virgo here. This person don't have their shit together. I'm just letting you know that now. They're unstable. And they are not... They don't want to be single. They want to be with you. But... They're codependent. Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. They're coming back. Yep, that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Yep. I feel like the wheel is turning in your favor. Things are looking good for you. Or they're going to be. I feel like you got success and victory here. I feel like, yeah, um... Your angels is, is here for you. I feel like you may have had a birth chart reading or there's an unexpected shift happening here in your energy. Look at this, six of wands, success and victory. More success, more victory. You're moving forward. You're happy. You're winning out here. And there's good news coming in for you too with the page of wands. Oh, ten of pentacles. Look at that. Look at that. Your money's going to be increasing for you. It's going to be very lucrative. If you work for a place, it's going to be very lucrative for you. You may have two white dogs or you're planning on getting dogs here. This person, yeah, whoever you was dealing with is a con artist who sold you some sort of dream. But you were their ten of cups, their happiness. You were their emotional fulfillment. But I feel like they were a con artist. Emotionally manipulative. Emotionally unavailable. It's like they didn't even give you this apology that you deserve. They didn't even say sorry to you. That's why you're pushing their ass away and shunning them off. And they're in their head like, what? why is cancer pushing me away? I want to come out of the cold with cancer, but they're standing their ground. It's like, yeah, the love is in reverse. You don't love this person like you used to. There's a disconnect. I feel like this person cheated on you. This person chose somebody else over you. And you're taking off the rose-colored glasses. You're like, it is what it is. You're seeing things for what they are, not for what you want it to be. Okay? Cancer. Wow. Wow. I feel like what took up the time in this read is the yellow cards, but that's okay. Somebody drives a fast car. Somebody could be driving recklessly too. <sighs> Somebody could be driving recklessly because they're mad. They're heated. Because you're moving on, you're moving forward. You could be traveling. You could be uh, going on vacation, a road trip. You could be relocating to a different city, state, country, town. But it's not over. They're coming back. They don't see this as being over either. They feel like y'all could still work things out. 
they feel like y'all could still get back together. But it's up to you. I mean, if this person haven't changed their ways and come out of this energy that they're so used to, then it's going to sabotage the relationship. And you're going to end up walking away anyway. <clears throat> Which is a waste of damn time. So... Cancer, this reading was long, but it was necessary. So you guys, <clears throat> if you want to see me do more readings, if you like this reading, if it resonates with you, if this is your story, if you stay all the way to the end, make sure that you guys like this video up, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. If this resonates with somebody you know, share this reading with them. Share this reading on all personal Share this reading on all your social media platforms. If you're interested in donating to the channel, my cash app is in the description or you can find it in the link in my about. Or if you're interested in a personal private one-on-one -on -one with me, that information will be linked in the description box. Remember to like this video up, you guys. The more likes I get for you guys, the more readings that come in. So keep that in mind. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time. Bye, Cancer. I'll see y'all in the next reading.